<laughs> Good day everyone. The day has finally arrived and I've received my uh, Chaos Space Marines Noise Marine and I haven't just received one, I pre-ordered two. So I'm very happy because I've got plans for these two boys and uh, today I'm going to be unboxing the Noise Marine. So before we start let's have a look at the uh, packaging. Now you've got that poster art that uh, we're all very familiar with and on the back Slanesh symbol in the middle is kind of weird pixelated Slanesh symbol for some strange reason and um, an image of the classic 91 uh, noise marine in comparison to the one that we have and what else we have we have some uh, closer look at his backpack um, with nice with the guitar cable leading up into a little box on the back image of the uh, backpack and then a sigil a skull sigil on the back and what I wanted to have a much closer look at was his left uh, shoulder pad so you can see on his left shoulder pad there's sort of a uh, sort of a decor and accessorizing going on there which is pretty nice but um, I'm not going to delay anymore. Uh, I want to know what he looks like um, in grey plastic. So I'm going to open him up right now. There we go. And free him from this plastic. And let's see what we have in the box so, let's open them up oh looks like he comes in a black plastic tray that's the top bring him out and you're seeing it for the first time just like i am noise marine a little booklet there that says read this first and uh, looks like we have got assembly instructions and that's what I'm looking for his body splits in half that gives me lots of possibilities with the LED work that I'm planning to do so that's really good um, another good thing is that his head is separate and as I suspected um, his mohawk uh, is removable so I will have an option of doing him without a mohawk which is nice I haven't decided whether I wanted that yet, but I do have two noise marines to experiment with and have variations on. Um, and we have our stat line, which is actually quite awesome. And you can see it's not a uh, bolter, it's a sonic blaster. So that's quite interesting. And I'm going to let you uh, pause it right there and have a closer look. And... Uh, that's it for the piece of paper. Okay, so what do we have here? Um, snugly inside a plastic tray, we have a single grey sprue. And I'm just going to very carefully ease them up so that I don't snap anything off. And we have our base, plastic tray, and grey sprue. Now, as I said in my previous uh, video, this is a 10mm grid, so you can sort of get a good uh, grasp of how big uh, this uh, model is. And uh, we'll, we'll take a closer look now and um, look at what we have before flipping him over, since this is um, the way he came. Um, I believe that's his... Uh, what is that? That's his mohawk. Oh, it's, it's huge. Goodness, it... It's actually pretty big. Um, backpack, front half of body, rear half of body, and the sonic blaster. Quite beautiful. Actually, this is a very, very nice model. Now I can have a closer look at 
uh, him, oh, excuse me, uh, uncut and unscripted. All right. Now, what do we have? Classic uh, Chaos Space Marine uh, backpack with a couple of uh, added uh, details. Um, I do like the skull with the speaker for a mouth. Um, I'm really hoping that when the Empress Children models come out, we start to see much more of this. And not just that, but um, with the, uh, the speakers on the, on the shins as well. Uh, I think that would be a very, very nice uh, addition to uh, the whole Slanesh aesthetic. Um, yes, sexy Slanesh is all well and good, but if we only have that and we have, don't have other forms of access, we're not actually being excessive, are we? So that's nice. Um, that's his mohawk and that's the front of his body. You can see the Slanesh symbol on the front and uh, classical uh, space marine lines. Uh, definitely definitely bigger uh, than uh, the old space marines um, I'd say he would almost be well almost as tall as the primaris actually look at the, the length of his legs and all that he does they don't have the squat look anymore now if you look closely um, I can see some details in his uh, waist as well uh, can't figure out what they are um, let's have a look at the box art well, it looks like it's actually completely obscured by the guitar, but if I look at that, they probably look like um, some kind of teeth or uh, some kind of uh, molded flames. So that's pretty nice. Uh, we will never be able to see them. I will paint this up in sub-assemblies. Um, I just like to know ha and have that thought that I painted everything that I needed on this model. Um, there we go. Um, he's uh, his his right his right arm uh, with the uh, forgot what you call it um, the flanger that you can attach to his guitar. I should know this. I forgot what it's called. Um, it looks like his guitar's on a strap, and that's uh, pretty nice as well. Oh, it's quite beautiful. You can see how the strap drapes over behind his backpack and over this connector. So that's uh, that's actually done quite well. And I love the, the way the piping goes in and out of his uh, Chaos armor. So that's, uh, that's pretty, it's pretty well done as well. Uh, we do have a power pack or amp or something on his waist. And that's what the guitar is connected to. I have to say the detail on this model is very, very impressive. A lot. A, I expected a lot out of this model and it's, it's exceeding expectations with every, every little detail that I noticed. Look at the, the chains hanging off his left shoulder pad, um, punching through the, the lip of his shoulder in a ring. And look at the, the mold of his hand as well, right? Pressing the frets of the guitar. And because I have two, I am for sure going to do a, uh, a, a long horn uh, try to do a long horn pose, cut the arm, the hand off at the wrist, flip the hand over, and you know like li literally have him holding out one one arm that way. Um, hopefully that'll work. Hopefully that'll work. I'm gonna have to cut those fingers off here, and probably green stuff uh, some fingers on that. But looks like that's a possibility. Um, we've got a component here, and I haven't figured out what this component is yet. Um, looks like it's a foot. Uh, it might be a foot. Almost like, there we go. So it's, a, it's one of his uh, cloven feet. Uh, it ends in a hoof, and it's even got this sort of leather strappy thing uh, over the ankle there, and that would most likely go there. So I'm pretty happy. His other foot uh, is on a Primaris helmet, and that's a very, very nice addition to it. In fact, um, on this sprue, you kind of have uh, a sense of scale as uh, for the Primaris helmet versus his own uh, helmet. That's what he looks like, and it looks as if there is a so there's no groove or any connector that his mohawk goes into, so you can definitely display him without the mohawk, which is nice. And you know, 
um, there are a lot of possibilities uh, I could imagine. Uh, just with that alone, I could magnetize this mohawk and have it removable so I have both options. Um, and I could add my own hair, I could add the top knot from any number of uh, Drukhari or Harlequin models uh, on him as well. What else do we have? Last but for sure, definitely not least, is the Sonic Blaster. And a from what I see on the uh, uh, stat line, this probably counts as a bolt pistol and the Sonic Blaster itself probably has a barrel that shoots out somewhere. Hmm. I don't know, but I mean, it looks nice nonetheless and that's the whole point in this model. I would love to just field it just for shits and giggles, just to have this guy on the field. So I'm very, very happy with with the, the guitar mold uh, and what we have here. Uh, looks like we have two rings hanging off the, the head of his guitar. Um, amazingly, it does have all six strings molded in. Wow, uh, I'm really, really impressed. I, I couldn't ask for more. We've got details on the inside as well, so you can actually see, you know, the guts of, of his guitar. You can see, uh, you know, mechanical bits all over a lightning bolt on the back. So much detail. I, I'm gushing because I really can't say anything better about this model. I'm really very, very happy. Uh, and, you know, I, I really have to recommend that if you haven't gotten this, if you can, get your hands on one because there is no way in seven hells you're going to regret getting this uh, this model uh, definitely definitely get yourself one and definitely definitely knock yourself out painting it whatever color you want whatever you want to do with this model i think the sky's the limit there's so much possibility i'm really really happy and you know i'm i'm just glad that you know it it came i could open it on the first day and i could share it with with everyone uh, wow <laughs> now uh, I'm gonna sign off uh, while I open my second marine uh, I'm this is this is the best the best Christmas so uh, please like subscribe um, ask me questions in the comments uh, I'll be very happy to look through the sprue again if there's any details you want to know more about. Um, I'll even post uh, another video uh, going through them if you, if you want to know more. I'll be very happy to do that. And I really do appreciate uh, all the comments and, and all the new subscribers that have come in. Of course, again, I do have a subscriber giveaway. I'm giving away my uh, LED illuminated Espen Locano. So please subscribe and I will pick a winner uh, on January the 16th. Um, all in all, have a Merry Merry Christmas, Sanguinalia, Slaneshmas, and Happy Holidays. I'll see you very, very soon. Take care.